got seven inside out variations that you can add in your game to make you pretty much unstoppable off the dribble, especially if you use what I'm gonna give you at the end of this video because if you're always just doing the inside out dribble and just going into a drive from it, that's gonna start to make you a little bit predictable. Let's jump into it. With the inside out dribble, a lot of people tend to think about it as being your hand on the outside of the basketball, coming over the top, stepping with this opposite foot to sell a fake. But there's a lot of little things you can change in different ways of doing your moves. So I'm sure you've heard a lot of different coaches saying, this is the way to do each move. You know, this is how you do your inside out, you're between the legs, whatever the case may be. There's a certain way you might want to learn it, first of all. But to be really effective in games and keep the ball from getting stolen and beat defenders, you've got to have variations of everything. And I can almost guarantee you the last variation in this video is one you probably haven't tried before. So the first inside out is kind of like your regular inside out, but we're going to change a couple things about it. It's the big inside out. It's the big sell where you're really trying to sell a fake. For each of these, I'm going to give you different situations they're going to work best with. And with this one, it's best when you have a little bit more room to work with. You want to be at least an arm's distance from your defender. This one will also typically be really good when you're coming up the court, but pretty much any time where there's a good amount of space between you and your defender. And the reason it's the big sell is because you're going to take a big step to really help sell that fake, really lean the hips and the chest into it, bend this knee so you can spring off of it hard into that direction and really move the ball big. Everything about this move is big to really sell that fake. Second variation is the side step. Typically when you see a player use the inside out dribble, they're almost always gonna use it to fake this way and then come this way. We're just changing one thing by using a side step and that's gonna allow you to create some unexpected separation or pass to get past your defender. So it's great for opening up jump shots, but also a sneaky way to set up an opportunity to drive past your defender. These next two variations are like polar opposites of each other. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second, but the next one's gonna be feet set. So this is good for when the defender's really tight to you and you don't have a lot of room to work with. A lot of times you won't really have much room to get a jab step off and you won't have room to make a lot of big ball movement. So in this situation, you would want to keep the ball movement real tight, not really bring it across as far. And you would also want to just keep your feet set, maybe take a little step with one of your two feet, but typically you won't have the room to take a big step because if you do that, that's going to also make the ball a little bit more exposed because you're real tight. So all you would do is tight ball movement and just lean the hips and the chest to sell the fake. So this next one's the exact opposite concept, it's stutter steps. Basically, moving your feet real quick, staying on the balls of your feet, yes that is legal, you can take as many steps as you want as long as it's a legal live dribble. And all you're really doing with this is trying to either A, freeze your defender up because you're moving so quick they don't really know what you're going to do and then a lot of times you can blow by them, or B, you can kind of get them to maybe shift on one of these little steps and move out of the way before blowing by them. This is typically going to be better when you've got a little bit more space between you and your defender. So I'd say at least in arm's distance, you can do this bringing the ball up the court or even in the half court set, as long as you've got that space to get the inside out off. This next one's great when your defender is tight to you or you just want to create space for a shot. It's the inside out step back. Obviously, if you're close to your defender, you probably want to turn your body a little bit more, but you want to pull the ball back to create that separation. Or you can use it more with a jab step in and then going into that step back if you want to really shift the defender one way and then come back the other to create space for a shot. The next one might be considered flashy by some coaches, so something you might want to keep in mind that your coach might not want to see, but it actually has a really good purpose if you're doing it in the right situation. And it's the inside out between the legs. So you'll see some guys use this as they're coming up the court and they'll lift the same side leg and kind of drop the ball under. Or sometimes you'll even see guys sell a fake like their normal inside out with that opposite foot. Typically you'll see it more kind of on the run. The reason this is going to work well is number one, it's going to give your defender something unexpected. So it's great when you're just coming down the court typically and it's going to allow you to continue to move forward while having the ball more protected than a typical inside out. So if I did an inside out here, the ball is completely exposed the entire motion. But here I'm putting the ball back behind me where the defender can't get to it. Plus on top of that, it's just going to give them something unexpected that they won't see coming. Kind of helps sell like you might be doing a pass to a teammate here or to a teammate between the legs here, or maybe even they'll think you're going between the legs dribble to change directions. So something they won't see coming. And then since it's behind you, it's harder for them to get it while you're still moving forward. This one you'll be able to use to break some ankles and get to defenders to go flying because it's going to give them something unexpected. But I wouldn't recommend you use it a lot. Just break it out every once in a while. And it's the same side foot step inside out. So it's going to look like 
this. So as you can tell, the ball is super exposed, right? So you gotta make sure either A, you know you're quicker than your defender to get the move off, or B, have a little bit more space for them. But typically, you're gonna be able to best get them to go flying if they're right here and you step past them. Keep in mind, since the ball is exposed, number one, that's gonna catch them off guard, probably, but you have gotta keep in mind your spacing and what kind of a defender they are. If you think there's a chance they're gonna get their hand on the basketball, I would recommend skipping this one. But if you got a good handle and you're quick and you know you can get it off, it's a good one to throw into the mix from time to time. And this one is also probably gonna be considered a little flashier by coaches, so something you might wanna keep in mind as well. Now, like I was saying, to be unstoppable with this move and pretty much all the moves in this video, you gotta have counter moves, variations, so you can beat your defender no matter what. There's no better move to counter into than the crossover, but just like the inside out, there's not just one crossover. In fact, in this video here, I've got different one dribble crossover variations that you could add into the end of these. So you'll give yourself a lot of different options to beat your defender. Click that like button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon to catch the newest videos, and I will see you in that video next.